great lords. Wise men ne'er sit and wail their loss, but cheerly seek how to redress their harms. What though the mast be now blown overboard? The cable broke, the holding anchor lost, and half our sailors swallowed in the flood. Yet lives our pilot still. Is it meet that he should leave the helm and, like a fearful lad with tearful eyes, add water to the sea and give more strength to that which hath too much? Whilst in his moan the ship splits on the rocks, which industry and courage might have saved. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a fault were this. Say Warwick was our anchor. What of that? And Montague our topmast. What of him? Our slaughtered friends, the tackles, what of these? Why is not Oxford here another anchor? And Somerset another goodly mast? The friends of France are shrouds and tacklings, and though unskillful, why not Ned and I for once allow the skillful pilot's charge? We will not from the helm to sit and weep, but keep our course. Though the rough wind say no, 